Hey, this is Greg. I am a Canva certified creative. And one of the questions I get asked the most about Canva is just what are the differences between the free plan and the pro plan and which plan is right for me? So in this video, I'm gonna break down all the differences between the pro account and the free account so it's easy to understand. I'm gonna let you know what my favorite pro features are. And then I also will include a link below for a special free 45 day trial of pro Canva. Now that it is an affiliate link, so if you end up subscribing after the 45 days, I can earn a commission, but that's totally up to you. Try it out, see if it's right for you. And then if you do cancel within that 45 day period, you won't be charged anything. If you don't cancel, then you will get start getting billed at the regular monthly rate. So that is a good jumping off point to start talking about what are the pricing tiers inside of Canva. So first there's a, the free account and you can do tons with the free account. 250,000 free templates. Those templates are great for designing designs across all sorts of platforms. They have things for Facebook designs. They have Pinterest. They have basically all the social media platforms, anything you're gonna create as part of marketing. They really are good about having lots of options in those free templates. So even with the free plan, you get lots of free templates. Now you also do get a uh, hundred plus design types, which I was just talking about. So social media posts, presentation, letters, things like that. They have lots of options, hundreds of thousands of free photos and graphics. Those are graphics you can use free in your design. You don't have to pay anything to include those graphics in your design. It is hard sometimes just for people to stare at a blank page and come up with a starting point. So Canva is great about giving you a starting point. They give you those templates. They build in lots of free photos, lots of graphics you can use in your design. You can also invite members to your team so you can create a team, you can share your design. So it is also great for collaboration. And here you can say you can collaborate and comment in real time. So you have all these great features inside of free Canva. It's not like a lot of software where you just can't unlock tons of features without uh, the, the upgraded pay plan. Although there are some features that we're gonna see in a moment are part of the pro plan. Now with a free plan, you also do get five gigabytes of cloud storage. That just means you have a decent amount of space for just storing your final designs and they'll be there if you want to go back and make edits make changes create templates that you then use for future designs you do have five gigabytes of cloud storage so what are those features you are gonna get with this pro plan so first of all you get everything the free plan has so all those templates all those design types you have in free canva you have those in the pro canva but then you're gonna get a whole lot more so where you have hundreds of thousands of free photos and graphics in the free plan in the pro plan you have 75 million premium stock photos, videos, audios, graphics. So you have audio files, videos, the stock photos, all these different design elements, and they are all free for you to use in your design. Now, even though it's free, you do have to understand that there still is a license attached to these. You need to read the Canva licensing. Anything you're just printing, and if you're creating something for your business to use as a one-time design, that's fine. But if you're someone who resells things and you're creating a book that's gonna resell and run at a print, then sometimes you do have to read that licensing fine print to make sure it is something you can use. So in other words, if you're just creating a final design, that's one thing, but if you are creating something that is then gonna be sold, then you do need to pay attention because sometimes there are restrictions. So it's not just unlimited. You can do absolutely anything with this, but you can use it in all the basic design usages. So just I'll put a link below in the description here for that Canva licensing agreement, just so you do understand what you can and cannot do with these free graphics with inside of Canva. But just to give you an idea, let me jump over to this other tab where I do have a pro Canva account and you can see that you do really have lots and lots of templates. So presentation, poster, landscape, you can go on and on. Of course you can scroll. There are all these different types of designs. And so you really can create tons of stuff. So let's just pick one out here. I'm just gonna go in magazine cover and we'll open that up. And then I'm gonna show you inside here where you really do have lots and lots of templates. So these are all categorized templates here over on the left side. So I can go down in here and again, you just have a lot more of this stuff in Pro Canva compared to the free Canva. So if I find a design I like, I can double click, I can open that up over here. And then of course you can search under elements and you have things like graphics, you have photos, you have videos. So let's just peek at photos real quick. So this is a car one here. So let me just search for a car 
And if I do that, you're going to see that you just get tons and tons of images and you can be more specific. There's search filters in here so you can search for all types of stuff. And then, of course, if I go down here, I can decide I want to see all videos and then I can search within the, in these videos and maybe I want fire as part of this. And so here are all the elements inside of Canva. I can sort up here. It's giving me everything right now. I can limit that to photos. I can limit that to graphics. I can look at videos and these are videos I can use inside of my design. So you just get a lot more in terms of the number of videos, the number of graphics, the number of photos that you have in Pro Canva compared to, pre, compared to free Canva. So that is an advantage of the Pro account. Okay, jumping back over, the next pro feature we see here is create one brand kit and upload your own fonts and logos. Okay, so what does this mean? How exactly does this work? Let me just jump back over to a pro account. Under a pro account, you do have this brand kit. So I'll click on this. Underneath your brand kit, you can upload logos, you can upload colors, you can upload fonts. Uh, you can save fonts as brand fonts. So basically, if you have sort of brand identity, if you have things associated with your business, with your marketing, colors you use all the times, fonts you use, logos, things like that, then you can store them here in this brand kit. And then when you're actually doing a design, if you come in here under design, now if I go to change the text, I am going to see all my brand fonts right here. Very easy to access. The same with colors. You can go ahead and you can pull the colors. So the brand kit is just a way to store those colors, store those logos, store those fonts, and have them really easy access whenever you're doing your design. It just can save you a little bit of time. I don't think this is a huge, huge thing because you can still get to those things uh, without that feature, but you have to do a little bit more of a workaround. So having that brand kit does save you some time. It is a nice pro feature. Jumping back over to that feature list, the next feature we have here is unlimited use of the background remover. So the background remover is something that is not in the free version. It is only in the pro version of Canva. So let's see exactly what it does. So I'm going to come over here. I'll just add a new page. I'm just going to go under these photos and grab photos. And what it's going to do is if you search for a photo, so I'm just going to, maybe I'll search for dancer uh, and bring up a dancer picture here. If you search and you come up with a photo like this, now it's not going to work well if you choose something with a really complex background. But if you choose something like this that has a relatively simple background, and then you can come in here and you can go under effects and you now have this background remover, what it's gonna do is it's gonna attempt to go in there and remove the background from that element. So you can just use that main subject. So it's using artificial intelligence. It's going in there, it's trying to find that subject and get rid of the background. So you can see in this example, it did a pretty good job. So now I could use this as my design element and so this really is a lot of people's favorite pro feature. And I, I do think it's a really good feature. I've tested it. It does work really well most of the time if you have a subject that's against a relatively simple background. Let me choose another one that's way more complicated. So if you choose shows something like this, for example, that's just a lot of muddled colors. It's not necessarily going to find the background uh, in, in something like that. So again, here's something else. Let's let's try it with this one here. This is maybe a better example. So this one here, I'm just going to come in here again. Again, effects, background mo remover, just to show you what it's like, like on a... Now this one still doesn't have a crazy complex background, but it definitely is... Um, more complicated than the previous example. So let's go ahead and look at this photo here. I've clicked the background removal. Let's see what kind of job it does with this photo. So you can see that it's still, with this photo, it still did a pretty good job. Now there is a little bit I have right there, but once you remove the background, you can then use this erase tool and you can come in here and you can size down your brush and you can clean this up a little bit more even to try to get rid of those elements that don't really belong. So the background remover is a super cool tool. And then you can create this library of assets. I could save this off as a PNG with transparency. I could upload it back to Canva and I'd have this dancer here without the background that could just be a design element in any of my designs. So background remover, it is a really cool tool. It's not like perfectly magic. It like you can't do anything. It can't do everything. But it does do a lot and a lot of times it does do a really good job. So the background removal, that is one of my favorite tools that is part of the pro account. Okay, let's just jump back over here and look at the feature list again. 
resize designs infinitely with magic resize. Okay, let's take a look at this example here. So let me just come back over here. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out of this because we don't need to do that. And I'm actually gonna save uh, or get rid of that page there. Let me size this down fit back to the screen. So this was just a design which I opened and started, which is a template for Instagram. Instagram has that that format of square, a square uh, one to one ratio. However, with the magic resize, which is a pro feature, then you can come in here and you can click this resize button and you can say that I also want this to be a Pinterest pin. I also want this to be a business card. I can show more options here. I want this to be a Facebook post. I want this to be eight and a half by 11. So I can click whatever options I want here with all these different choices and then I can hit copy and resize and what it's gonna do is it's now automatically going and taking that design I had and it's doing its best attempt to resize that and create that with the new formats. So you can see here it is. And if I start to go through the different screens here, it's taking a moment to do that, but it's attempting to resize. So again, here was this initial Instagram square format. I just used that magic resize tool. I checked those different options and I maybe did too many because my computer is getting a little upset here, but you can see it's going through, it's opening the new windows, and it's attempting to build out this design with all these new different sizes. So you can imagine if you're creating social media marketing and you have some sort of campaign and you create a basic design, but then you want to have that design where you can post it across all these different platforms, you can really quickly use this magic resize tool. Now again, like the background removal, it's not always going to work perfectly. Sometimes you may still need to go into that repurposed design with a new size and tweak it a little bit, but you can still come in here and edit this. In other words, it's giving you a design that's total, totally editable. So you can still go back in there and make changes. You can tweak it, but it can save you a lot of time when you're creating those simple graphics and you want to be able to have assets that you can use across multiple platforms. So again, that is another one of my favorite features, that magic resize tool. Now, if you're on the free account, a workaround that is is that you can create projects with those other dimensions and you can sort of select everything on screen and use that control C copy, control V paste. So you can sort of get around it. You have to scale it up, but you you find yourself spending more time and doing more work. So I am a big proponent of anything that saves you time. And certainly that magic resize feature in the pro account can save you time. Making our way back to the features, uh, pro features. Next thing we have save designs as templates for your team to use. Okay, let's talk about this. So on the free account, you see that you can invite members to your team. Uh, what I want you to understand is there are team features in Canva, but that doesn't mean you're getting multiple accounts for free. Those team members, they still have to pay for a Canva account if they want pro features. Uh, but then you can collaborate even more under this pro account. Now I'll be totally honest, I haven't done a lot of uh, teamwork within Canva. So if you're part of a larger business, they may, this may make sense for you. It's not something I use a ton, but from what I've heard, camera, Canva is making it easier and easier to share uh, templates even under the free account. So I don't know what the additional features you have are under this pro account. I think there are some, but I can't speak a lot as to whether this is a great benefit. And of course, this is really only gonna apply to you if you do work in that team environment. But I will say that even under the free account, I know that you can now share templates and you can give someone a file that they can then take and run with and work on. So I don't know if this is a huge benefit. When I wouldn't call this my favorite pro feature, but you do have that option with maybe more options, I guess, under that pro account. Next thing you have is 100 gigabytes of cloud storage. So if you have more and more designs, again, you just do have more space under that pro account before you're gonna run out of cloud storage space and maybe have to delete some older designs. So again, you just have more space under the pro account. It's kind of cool. Again, I think it's gonna take a little while until you start to hit these uh, storage limits anyways, but if you use Canva a ton and it's a big part of your workflow, then having that extra space is of course helpful. 
Now the final thing, which again, I think would be one of the big benefits of Pro Canva is the new ability to schedule social media content to eight platforms. So let's just look at that again. I'm just gonna come over and find one of these open designs I had here. And again, if you now come under here, once you create a design, you can publish it directly or schedule it to publish sometime in the future directly from here within Canva. So again, you would come under here and now you have all these different options for sharing to your Facebook page, sharing to Instagram, you can share to Pinterest. So you have these different social media platforms. Now I'm gonna be totally honest. I've heard a lot of talk about this. I've seen some examples. They do have a scheduler where you can drop posts on different days in the future. But this is not something I have a lot of personal experience with yet. I will do some testing and when I have some more testing, I will come back and I will post on this more. So does it seem really cool? Yes, it does seem really cool. I like the idea of being within Canva and then just being able to do it all at once. In other words, you saw how you could use that magic resize uh, tool to create all the different assets for the, into the social media platforms, then being able to schedule those all out, all within Canva to those different social media platforms without having to jump over those platforms. Again, it just seems like one of those features that can save, me, save you time, and I'm huge on saving time, but I have to be totally honest, I haven't done a lot of experimenting with this yet, so I can't say it's a slam dunk, but it does seem like it is a really cool feature of that pro account, and I'll report back once I have more data and I've done more testing. Now there is one more Canva pricing tier that is the enterprise tier, which is $30 per person per month. But this is really not gonna apply to 99% of Canva users. So I'm not really gonna spend any time on it right now. Now, if you're part of that 1%, you can contact sales and you can see here that it really is oriented for that team environment. So you have more brand kits you have more controls and sort of what permissions different team members have, things like that. So that enterprise plan really is geared towards teams. You can check that out if it's something that applies to you. So I think that about covers it. Jumping back over here again, the big advantages to the pro account is just you get tons more in terms of all the graphics and templates that are there that make great starting points that help you in your designs. And then also some of my favorite features, that background removal can be really handy, background remover is a really handy tool when you sort of want to get rid of the background and just use an element from within a photo. That's a really cool tool. And I like that magic re resize tool because it does save you a lot of time. So is it right for you? I don't know. You can use that link below again, if you want to try a 45 day trial of the pro account, a free 45 day pro trial of that pro account and see if it makes sense for you. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm Greg and I'll see you next time.